Okay, welcome. In this session, I'm going to talk to you about a very exciting topic, and that is a free enterprise data warehouse. So let's take a quick look at what we're talking about here. What is an enterprise data warehouse? Well, an enterprise data warehouse is an integrated, time-variant, non-volatile, subject-oriented, or business key-oriented, right, from the hub perspective, collection of data that supports business decisions. It's also an auditable, integrated data store that serves enterprise-wide information needs, both strategic and tactical. So we have things that are uh, a broader um, kind of exploration thing or strategic, but also tactical, near real-time things. And these are all business functions that we're supporting. So uh, exciting. An enterprise warehouse does many good things for us. Um, what are the benefits of having an enterprise data warehouse? Well, one of the biggest benefits is that we can gain insights into the business. So we can gain insights into customers, how the operations works, um, market dynamics, market share, changes in market share, uh, threats from new entries, um, how patterns of the economy are impacting our sales, uh, how our product offering is stacking up, how it compares to competitors, um, trends that are occurring, and etc. So lots of good information from business insight perspective. We also have a way to get trusted information. One of the core problems with our uh, warehousing and reporting teams is numbers don't match, things can't be found again, things conflict, and, uh, and we lose that credibility so we don't have trusted data. Having information that can be auditable and traceable and trusted is a huge benefit as well of an enterprise warehouse. We also now have a place to have centralized data for the whole organization and historized. So we maintain the time slices over time. So we can manage that information asset of ours with a central view and persistent data over time. And of course, the last thing is uh, probably the, the core initial driving benefit of, uh, of actually having these kinds of things is better, faster decisions. better because they're more accurate, uh, they contain information from more sources, they're integrated in a better way. And so we can support uh, a decision process better and faster than what we did before. So great benefits of having one. Now, what are the parts of a warehouse? What does it include? Well, it includes data. Right? There's data from all these different sources, uh, external sources. We have people, both business people that understand what the business does and how it works, what the data means. And we have technical resources that put this all together, integrate it, and find a way to deliver it. So we have that. We have hardware. So there's uh, database servers that store the warehouse itself. We have workstations to work with it. We have networks and infrastructure uh, to support and maintain the movement of data and the uptime and the access that we need. We also have software and applications. So we have database licenses, software licenses, modeling tools, uh, transformation ETL tools like Informatica, uh, software code that we write or that we purchase. Uh, so a lot of different things there as well. Well, if you take all those together, um, well, typically what would the cost be for a data warehouse? Well, the initial program launch has a uh, initial um, kind of a jump start requirement to get things going. We have to establish uh, the program itself. We have initial project uh, requirements, the charter of the project, the scope, the organizational structure, the procedures we're going to use, our initial designs, establishing the architecture, getting the hardware in. Uh, all this is the initial kicking off of the project. And then ongoing, we actually have a data warehouse that's going to be in a constant state of change. It's going to be updated all the time. So we need to have an organization and a program that is actually permanent. It's going to be there forever. And there's an ongoing cost every month, every week, every year to maintain uh, the warehouse as it is constantly adapting to changes from the source or the requirement perspective. Now, what kind of categories of expenses do we have? Well, to keep it very simple, we have people, resources, that is, people. That includes business and technical people that we need to make this work. And we also have all the hardware and the software. So all the infrastructure and the software and the applications and databases. And you know, th this is actually um, uh, a relatively significant commitment in time and cost. So um, how can this be free? Um, 
Exactly. This is my point. Uh, it is not free. I'm sorry to let you down and mislead you, but an enterprise data warehouse requires both a, a central top-down commitment of the organization to make it happen, but it also requires a budget. It requires money. You have to have uh, the backing of the organization from a central view in order to successfully uh, work with an enterprise data warehouse. It is, I'm sorry to say, not free. So you have to consider these benefits. You have to consider your maturity level. And once you've done that, you can start thinking about what is it, uh, how can I approach the enterprise warehouse? Just like lunch, there is no free lunch. Uh, you're not going to get a free data warehouse. But the benefits, I'm sure, if you're ready for a warehouse, will definitely outweigh these costs, and it can be uh, a great thing for your organization. Thanks for your time.